Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the different carbon steel electrodes which are used in shielded metal arc welding. So basically the contents of this video are the first one is the code reference. I will give you the code from which I have taken these materials. Then I will talk about the specification means uh, for example, there are electrodes like E6013. So what is the meaning of E? What is the meaning of 60? What is the meaning of 13? I will talk all these in this video about this in this video. Then I will talk about the flux details means what are the flux which are used in the electrodes. Then I will talk about the significance means the uh, uh, the significance and the importance of the most common carbon steel welding electrodes and finally i will give you the current requirements means what are the requirements of current during the welding for different electrodes so basically the carbon steel steel electrodes for smw comes in two series first one is e60 series and the second one is e70 series so in 60 series you have e6010 which is very important which is very widely used and then e6013 so these two electrodes are uh, widely used in the industries and in e70 series the e7018 is very popular in the industry other electrodes are also used uh, for different applications so these are the electrodes which are uh, used in shielded metal arc welding and these are all carbon steel electrodes. So before starting this video, let me give you a brief introduction of myself. My name is Sandeep Anand. I am a mechanical engineer and I am having 14 plus years of working experience and my hobby is to share my knowledge and I share my knowledge through my website weldingandentity.com and the second mode through which I share my knowledge is my YouTube channel that is youtube.com slash weldingandentity. So friends, if you like my videos and if you want to support my initiative financially then you can join my channel after subscribing my channel you will see a join button or the join icon after pressing this join icon and following the steps you will be able to join my channel and you can support me financially you can support my initiative so let's start first i'll give you the reference the code reference from which i have taken this material this is nothing but asme section 2 part C. So SME section 2 part C is exclusively for welding electrodes and filler materials and for carbon steel electrodes which are used in shielded metal arc welding the AWS classification is SFA 5.1. So SFA 5.1 is one is the AWS classification and you can get this material in SME section 2 part C also. So SFA 5.1 is specification for carbon steel electrodes for shielded metal arc welding. Friends, I have written some other, you know, classification also like for gas shielded arc welding that is GMAW, GTT welding and plasma arc welding, SFA 5.18 is used and for submerged arc welding electrodes, SFA 5.17 is used and for flux code arc welding, SFA 5.20 is used. So all these, you know, classification is for carbon steel electrodes and for different welding processes like SFA 5.1 is for shielded metal arc welding. Now we will see the meaning of uh, you know electrode or the meaning of the electrode symbols which are given. See electrode symbol contains you know uh, E and then four letters. So it starts with E then like 6013 or E7018. So the first letter that is E stands for electrode means it's a electrode. So E. Then the second two digit, second two digit gives the tensile strength and this is the minimum tensile strength of the welding of the welding which we will get from this electrode minimum tensile strength. Then the second last digit gives the position means in which position this electrode can be used and the last two digit collectively will give you the polarity which polarity this electrode can be used and the flux composition so last two digit co collectively will give you the flux composition and polarity in some books it is written that last digit will go 
give flux composition but that is wrong the last two digit will give you the flux composition and that i will show you also so you will be able to understand why last two digit is important for flux composition so first let's see like for example you have e7018 e7 let me write e7018 so we'll take one example of e7018 so here the name e is for electrode then the first two digit first two digit that is 70 that is 70 70 is the minimum tensile strength and the unit of this tensile strength is ksi ksi is kilo pounds per square inch and if you will multiply it by 1000 then the result will be in psi that is means 70 either it will be 70000 psi or 70 ksi so i told you the full form of KSI is kilo pounds per square inch. Now my question to you is what is the full form of PSI? Ne, then the second last digit that is 1. The second last digit designates the position for which the electrode can be used. Here we are using 1. So 1 means it can be used for all position. This electrode can be used for all position. If the second last digit is 2 then it designates that position that uh, electrode can be used in horizontal fillet or flat position and if there is 3 in the second last position it means that the electrode can be used for flat, horizontal, overhead and vertical downwards position. Now the last two digit that is 1 and 8 collectively last two digit together shows two things first one is the polarity in which the electrode can be used and the second one is the flux composition now you will see the flux composition see last two digit if last two digit is one zero then the flux composition is high cellulose sodium similarly if last two digit is one one then the flux composition will be high cellulose potassium Again, we will take example of E6013. E6013 is very popular electrode. Hence, 13 is, you know, for high titania potassium. It is also known as rutile. So, high titania potassium. Now, uh, there is one very popular electrode that is E7018. So, what does this 18 uh, means? 18 shows low hydrogen potassium iron powder. So, like this, last two digits always you know gives you the flux composition and the you know uh, polarity so here as i already tell you that in some books it is written that the last digit only gives the flux composition that is wrong why wrong because here also in one zero there is zero in the last and in two zero also there is zero in the last but see the difference for one zero the flux is high cellulose sodium and for two zero the flux is high iron oxide hence the la always you have to consider the last two digit for identifying the flux composition now we'll take the uh, uh, example of e7018 i had already take this example but let us take it once again e stands for electrode 70 stands for you know tensile strength that is 70 ksi or 70000 psi one means all position it can be used for all position and one at collectively will show the polarity here one at means ac or dcep this Electrode can be used in DC EP polarity or it can be used in AC and one it again shows the low hydrogen potassium iron powder. So this is the flux. Now we will take the example of some most commonly used SMAW carbon steel electrodes. First we will take C E6010. E6010 is very popular among the pipeline welding. Why? Because of its deep penetration. With E6010, you will get very deep penetration. So this is always or this is most of the time used in the root pass in pipeline welding, especially the small diameter pipeline. Why? Because in small diameter pipeline, you will, you will not be able to do back gouging from inside and internal welding. Hence, good penetration is required. Hence, in doing root pass of pipeline welding, E6010 is recommended because of its deep penetration. Then you have E6013. E6013 is one of the most versatile carbon steel electrode and it is known for its ease of use and smooth arc characteristics and wide, widely used for light to medium duty welding of carbon steel in 
almost all positions so it, it can be used in light to medium duty welding applications now e7018 e7018 is very popular for critical welding it is a low hydrogen electrode and why it is very popular choice for critical because it provides excellent welding quality and it is known for its crack resistant properties so it is crack resistance electrode now e6010 e6010 also gives good penetration and it is commonly used for general purpose welding especially for maintenance work in on carbon steel then e7016 e7016 also gives very good strength and toughness and it's commonly used in applications where high deposition rate is required high deposition rate of weld metal is required so wherever high deposition rate is required e7016 will be used it provides stable arc and often used in structural steel especially heavy structural steel fabrication and finally we will see the e7024 e7024 uh, is having high iron powder content and this uh, electrode also gives a high deposition rate and it is ideal for heavy fabrication work but the limitation is the position here you can see two two means it can be used in either flat or horizontal flat position so here in the first five electrodes you can see the second last digit as one means these electrodes can be used for all position but e7024 cannot be used in all position so friends some variants are also there means some special uh, symbols are also given in carbon steel electrodes like after the electrode name one dash and then one is given sometimes like e7018 dash one so dash one represents or designates that it will meet improved toughness criteria or ductility in some cases again you will see in some electrodes it is mentioned that e7018 dash h4r so h4r designates that this electrode uh, you know will give uh, 4 ml F, F, on an average 4 ml diffusible hydrogen in 100 gram of well, well deposits and r indicates that the electrodes pass the absorbed moisture test sometimes instead of 4 8 or 16 is also mentioned so similarly 8 or 16 can also be interpreted like in if it is h 8 r then it will be 8 ml average diffusible hydrogen content with 100 grams of well deposit and if it is 16 then 16 ml of average diffusible hydrogen content mean 100 grams of well deposit so friends these are the variants which are used in carbon steel electrodes so now we'll see the current so this is also i have taken from sme section 2 part c so the for different diameters the current range will be different like for 2.5 uh, e6010 the current range will be for between 40 to 80 amperes but if the electrode uh, die is e3.15 then the current range will be 70 to 125 if the electrode is e6010 so we'll take e7018 for e7018 and 2.5 diameter electrode the current range will, will be 70 to 110 similarly for 3.15 electrode dia the current range will be 105 to 155 so likewise here you can see the current for all diameters of uh, you know uh, rods so friends with this we have come to an end of our welding electrodes video carbon steel welding electrodes video for shielded metal arc welding i hope you like this video thank you very much